Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all, welcome to our next page in our altered book. Today I want to play with the cheese cloth, some lace. I'm going to use that as a base, which we're going to glue later in, because again, I'm going to use the sewing machine, so we need to do it outside the book. It's not possible to do it in the book itself. I also going to use a rather small font of, um, this is a German uh, encyclopedia. I'm probably going to use some um, corrugated cardboard. I also use um, napkin and of course an insect it's it's a butterfly this time i want to use a stencil with some modeling paste and i either going to use black or white gesso i'm not sure yet we will see so the first thing i'm going to do here is um, i'm going to um, uncover the corrugated cardboard um, I was looking for one with a really small pattern. There are the larger one and the smaller ones and I really like this small one for that particular project. And I find it the easiest with the very pointy tweezers. It can, can go into the Reaches and pull the cover paper up. I'm not looking for a perfect uh, reveal of the corrugate corrugation itself. I just I'm gonna leave bits and pieces. I like the grungy look. Now this is sort of my template, I think I'm even going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to glue it onto the page at the end. Now I start layering my things. Now let's see what the sewing machine says. I'm just gonna make me a little bit of room and I will be back. I'm only gonna sew those things. The rest I'm gonna use a medium. And the cheesecloth probably is just partial. I first have to sew those two pages together. I think for now I'm gonna leave the threads. I'm just gonna knot them together. Maybe that's another element. Now this has to go here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's see whether I can do the corrugated cardboard or not. and cut him a little bit shorter. Don't leave it that long. Something like that. And I simply pull the back thread through when I can. And if not, I leave it. So I want to add some gesso and some modeling paste too. So black or white? Or both? What about both? Now I'm going to use some modeling paste here so and at the same time I'm going to attach my butterfly. It is a white modeling paste, so I decided to add a little bit of stale blue. I rather want, don't want white. I want to pick up the blue a little bit from the butterfly. Let's see how that works. Now that has to dry a bit and I'm gonna use the heat gun. So the piece is pretty much dry and I don't know whether you can see it but the goes the cheesecloth I have used did bleed into the modeling page which is fine with me I don't mind it I actually like it so I guess you can see it yes okay so now it's time to glue it onto the page and because it is a rather heavy piece with all this uh, layers I recommend using a gel and just applying it generously so that it is really well attached later on but that was a little bit too much Now I also want to add this uh, napkin piece and I want it to overlap over here so for that I'm gonna use the Liquitex matte medium. 
Use a matte medium. If you use a gloss medium, it is more prompt to stick than with the gloss medium. I did the gloss underneath because uh, it has to stick. <laughs> so, but now that I, I want, if I can help, I want to do this page to open again. So I'm gonna use the Liquitex matte medium, and it's just one layer of a piece of a napkin, so we don't need really to put underneath. It's just if you pour it in the, somewhat in the middle and then go outwards with your spatula or silicone brush or maybe you use a credit card that works too. That's gonna be enough. You just have to make sure that you are not stingy with the um, amount of uh, medium or it might tear I leave that like this so it doesn't attach to the medium too because I want this end loose. Now that has to dry. When everything is dry, I'm going to put that up here again. But for the moment, I leave it here to dry. I think that's it. I'm going to post a picture at the end of the video, as usual, when it is all dry. I hope you enjoyed this little fancy work, and I hope to see you again.